Hello again. This is the same AT Tiny 85 I used in my previous video, and it was where I was able to just send three different types of packets. But that was kind of boring, and as uh, Raz PL pointed out, a guy named Igor Sesko already did this 10 years ago. And uh, I'm not going to let somebody from 10 years ago, who's probably smarter than I am because he did some really neat stuff with his, show me up. For one, I have an AT Tiny 85 and he didn't. So, what I, uh, what I decided to do is make it so it could both send and receive. So that means that I'm sending data from this guy back through the Ethernet into my computer, all 10 base T, and I'm receiving it with this app right here. It has the, right here is the ADC for the temperature, an ADC for an external pin that the switch is hooked up to. So when I click the switch, it goes and changes that number, along with pings and uh, extra debugging data for receiving packets. Then, this program sends back to the AVR what it needs to go send out to the WS2812s. So, from the Ethernet, right here, I'm able to send data to these WS2812s. So I can send and receive arbitrary Ethernet packets on this AVR. Here I am pinging the device through a network cable hooked up to the switch. See the nice little uh, 10 megabit link right there? On over to my computer and I am pinging it. Though the packets it handles can't be very big, in fact I believe it can only handle about 90 bytes on wire, so the biggest ping payload I'd be able to send is somewhere in the order of uh, 30 bytes, it can receive them and it can transmit them back. It drops a bunch of the packets too. Also, in order to receive, it actually has to overclock to just over 30 megahertz so that it can read in the bits from the Ethernet into the USI in order to be able to read it all out. All of the, the code and a paper on this is going to be on GitHub and uh, the link's going to be down there in the description. Uh, maybe a little bit later I'll actually make a video about how all this works. Well. I hope you thought this was cool. I had a lot of fun doing this project. And I don't know, maybe other people will be able to take this and turn it into something a little bit more useful. I know it's not going to be the next VUSB, but wouldn't it be cool if more than one person uses this?